So a big part of my job is designing slides, decks and various presentations in Google Slides. And as some of you probably know, Google Slides is a great alternative to Microsoft PowerPoint is free and also collaborative. So you can easily share stuff with your colleagues, with your clients. It's a tool that I overall find very useful. However, if you want to design really good looking professional slides, you sometimes you need a little extra capabilities beyond what Google Slides offers, right? And that would be Figma. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I integrate these two very powerful and specialized tools to design captivating and professional looking slides very, very quickly. It's of course no issue to prepare headlines and subheadlines and bullet points in Google Slides, right? So let me just very quickly prepare a title in here. So we would get this title, a placeholder title, then we would get a description. Of course, that would be smaller, right? I'm sure that uh, a lot of you have actually, you have experience with Google Slides. So what I'm doing right now on the screen is nothing new to you. Um, but just let me just paste in some lorem ipsum. But then maybe you want to do something a bit more complicated when it comes to design on the right side. Perhaps you want to do like um, a tiny graphic representing what the slide is currently discussing that would be placed over here, right? So suppose that you would want to create some kind of an icon uh, that would be really good looking. So you have essentially two options right now. You can manually create that in Google Slides, like, you know, using the shape tool, just adding like a circle, you know, maybe changing the stroke width and then, uh, you know, adding some more elements like a line perhaps and creating an icon or maybe something more complicated. Right, so that's option one. Um, however, consider, for example, something like this. Uh, the Figma logo has all these effects, these complicated borders, and it would take forever to do this in Google Slides. So what I simply do is go to Figma and then design whatever I need to design. Let's say I'm gonna design a time icon, right? Now this, what I have just created, is a fairly complicated icon that is not impossible to create in Google Slides, but it would be immensely time consuming. This took me a couple of minutes in Figma. So now what I'm going to do is simply take this whole thing. Um, maybe let me just press K on my keyboard and enlarge this by a factor of three. So we have 300 by 300 icon. Then what I'm going to do is command shift C, go back to Google Chrome, back to Google Slides, and then do command V, or that's control shift C on Windows, I believe, and then control shift and control V uh, in Google Slides, right? So let's say you're, you're doing a slide uh, regarding time management, and this icon is helping us to illustrate, you know, the topic better. Um, as you can see, without this icon, it's a rather unoriginal, bland slide. But as soon as you add something that is visually compelling, a little bit more complex to look at, suddenly it looks very professional. So this is how I integrate Figma and Google Slides. It's essentially just copy as PNG, paste as PNG. But if you switch between Figma and Google Slides very quickly and then use this quick PNG import from Figma to Google Slides, that saves you a lot of time and, you know, broadens your possibilities when you're designing slides for your employer, for your clients. So that's it. I hope you found this video useful. Honestly, this is a super simple workflow, nothing too crazy. Maybe a lot of you already knew about this, but I overall find this too powerful not to mention it at all. And so in the future on the channel, I'd like to explore more ways you can integrate Figma with other software to basically become a more powerful designer and overall someone who is who can really produce a lot of stuff, who can design a lot of stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you found this useful and I will see you in the next one.